Welcome. In this video, we are going to look at installing external crates with Alir, and we're also going to look at linking with libraries built in other languages. We're going to do this through the lens of SDL. SDL, Simple Direct Media Layer, is a great framework for basically creating windows and managing things as we make games because it's all well and good to make some stuff in ADA, but wouldn't it be good if we could make some games in ADA? That'd be really cool. So Lucretia has gone ahead and made this binding, this ADA binding to the SDL library. So big shout out to Lucretia. Thank you so much. It's a very cool library. And I'm going to, yeah, load this up and basically get a window running. If we go to this Rosetta code section, there's a bunch of examples and pretty much I'm almost going to be copy pasting, but pretty much what I'm doing is just taking this Archimedean, whoops, Archimedean spiral ADA version, and I'm just adapting it so that instead of making a spiral, we're just making a blank screen. So with all of that out of the way, first things first, let's make a project. Okay. So pretty much the standard stuff. And if it seems like I'm going through this gingerly, I'm just keeping an eye on my frame rate timer there because last time I recorded this, it went so slowly that you could barely see anything. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change into my dev ADA directory, and I'm going to tell Alir to initialize a binary project named SDL test. Uh, because I'm a little lazy, I don't set up any defaults here. So I'm just going to just enter, enter, enter. That's probably fine. Okay. So I've created my project. I'm now going to change into that directory and tell Alir that I'm going to edit, shuffle these things around a little bit. Okay. So here I am in my project. And like I said, it's almost going to be a copy paste here. I'm not, the goal here is not to show the writing of the SDL code, but it's to show how to link everything together. So with that disclaimer out of the way, I'll just pop in here and I'll paste in some code. So super briefly, this code is just going to construct a blank screen and fill it with a color. Up the top, we declare the size of the window as well as a flag, which will indicate when the program should stop running. We also declare we're going to have a bunch of classes here, a window, renderer, and event. Then we start things off. So we initialize SDL. We go ahead and create a window and then, yeah, make a surface, set the draw color, and then start off our main event loop. Okay. So far, so good. But um, if we go and try to build this right now, it will say failed, right? Because it's looking for this SDL ADA specification, which we haven't got. But it turns out this ADL, sorry, SDL ADA specification can be found in an external crate. So Alir is our crate manager. If we type Alir with, with no other arguments, it will list the current dependency of the dependencies of the project, which currently is nothing. We can go Lear search and then put in some query like, Hey, I want to use SDL. And this will look through and try to find the SDL packages. So it's listed a bunch of crates here, which sort of closely match SDL. And it's this one here that I want this SDL ADA. So what I can do is I can type in a Lear with, and then specify the name of the package that I want to install. I'll hit enter and this will attempt to load in the package. It looks around for things and it says, Hey, do you want to keep searching? Yes. I want to keep searching. And it says, okay, we're going to add the SDL ADA crate, but I uninstalled these ahead of time. We're going to need to also install all these other libraries. Do you want to proceed? And we just go, yes. And now one by one, 
it's going to install all these external libraries. So that should now be installed. And I can check that by querying a Lear with, and it says, hey, here's your dependencies. You've got SDL Ada there. Now, of course, if I start working on this and I want to change that crate to use a different crate, and I want to remove this crate, what I can do is type Alir with, and then the Dell option, and then the crate name. Do we want to remove everything? Sure. Then we go Alir with, and our dependencies are empty again, but actually we didn't want to remove it. So we'll just add that in again, and we can see that's back in there. So when we added this, what Alir did is it added the crate and it also installed the system libraries. So currently our project should now be using the SDL binding. We can go Alir build and it goes ahead and it's a lot of text up here. There's a lot of text, but basically it goes through, it builds, binds, links, all of that. But we can see here we have all these errors and it says, that's the command, but then the error is sort of undefined reference to all these functions. And what this means is that even though we have these things, we are not linking the binding to the underlying SDL library. Now, the way we can do this is we can specify what's called some switches in the build command. So we can say, okay, we're going to build and we're going to put in linker arguments. And there's this sort of SDL two config libs command. You can run that. And yeah, now it builds correctly. So again, I know I just flashed up for a second, but the command there is this alir build elargs SDL two config. Okay. Just to check, we can then run. And yeah, okay, looks good. We've got our window there. It's just a good bit of fun. We can go ahead and close that. That's not the main point of today. So this is fine, but then how can we sort of make this a little more convenient? So we could absolutely set this up in a make file so that we have just a single make command and it runs, but I'm going to look at some more ADA centric ways of doing this. One thing is, we have, I'll just put that there for a second. Now up here we can declare pragmas. So we can go pragma. Yeah, linker options. And then we could try put in the same thing. Let me try that. Let it go. And now if we hit earlier build, it should use that as it is. Now we can see clearly it's it's not working. So I'm going to investigate this a little bit further. So this SDL config thing is being inserted in place. And I'm just going to run that command as it is. And it gives me back this LSDL2. So this is the linker argument, the linker option that we need to set. The reason we might want to run that command rather than hard coding this string is in order to make things more portable seems to work. So we'll give this a go. We'll go build. And again, it's built correctly. And we can verify that it was this command that did it because if we change this argument to something dodgy, it will fail. I'll leave that for now. Now this stuff, I've put it directly in a source file. Now it's not really source code, is it? It's more of like program configuration or project configuration. So it would really be nice to keep it external to the source code itself. And it turns out we can do this, but it took me a bit of time to work out how to do it. So I'll talk through how I did it. In this GPR file here, we have this SDL test GPR. This GPR describes the project how to build it, how to configure the various stages. So you can see here we have a compiler, a binder, and an install stage. There's also a linker. So 
So just the same as those other stages, we can specify some things. Now this is the bit that, that threw me. I'd be thinking that I'd be setting you, uh, linker options. Like that. Because after all, that's what the pragma says. It says, hey, use this linker option. We can give this a go. And when I encountered this, I found it very frustrating because it was almost as if it just wasn't reading this. You can understand my frustration. I'm hoping that people who understand more about this than I do can chime in and tell me like what's happening here. But the solution is instead of linker options, we go switches. So a switch is basically an, an input, an argument, a bit of string that you put in in the command line when you run something. And it turns out if we use switches instead of linker options, even though this says linker options, that is actually what we need to input. And it runs. So again, we can run it and we get pretty much what we expect. So again, nothing super exciting. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is how do we bring in crates, external crates using a Lear? How do we sort of search for crates, remove crates, all that sort of stuff? And then how do we get access? How do we link to external binary libraries we can use in our projects? So instead of just printing stuff out to the terminal, we can actually like make some stuff. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you again later. Bye. Hi, so I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to all of my channel supporters. If you would like to support the channel, it's $2.50 a month. That's all I ask, but it's not expected. If you are not able or willing to support the channel financially, the best thing you can do is the usual, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you'd like to see, let me know what you're enjoying, because I am trying to make the best educational content that I can under the constraints. So with that out of the way, really big thank you to Antonin Karet, Dankyo Falls, Declan, Andalon Studios, Isaiah Meyer, Mathieu Derick, Moim, and Shreya. Thank you so much, my dudes. I really do appreciate it. It's fuel for the fire. Keep me going. Keep me motivated. Um, but yeah, have a great one and I'll see you again soon. Bye.